For more than 25 years, we have traveled thousands of miles to experience the flavors, culture, and passions of Latinos. We have interviewed hundreds of Latinas of influence, business owners, artists, and community leaders. Our mission is to share with you the stories of our community. I'm Richard Sandoval, and welcome to Hispanic Lifestyle. Victor Quiroz, I'm a McDonald's owner operator in California. I've been doing business here for 20 years and we have seven restaurants on the Central Coast. Well, Victor, I'm going to I'm going to ask you the hard question up front and that is McDonald's food filmmakers. Please make the connection for me, Victor. Of course. So, McDonald's likes to connect with the Hispanic community and we've historically supported that community through you know, music, education, sports, and now through film. And Spotlight Dorado is just a perfect way to do it. It's a contest where we offer um, emerging Latino filmmakers the opportunity to make their own short film. So we offer them a $75,000 budget. We provide them mentors from the film industry. And the goal here is to, um, you know, you know, Hollywood only represents 1% of their stories in the of the Hispanic culture and, and um, community. So we want to hit on that underrepresentation there for the Hispanic culture. And Marisa is going to help us with that. Okay, Marisa, if you would talk a little bit about your film. Uh, and um, I'm a geek myself. So, I mean, is this in 4K? Is it online? Did you edit in Final Cut Pro? Did you, how did you write and put all this together? Okay, so my short film, as I said before, is Fancy Four is a Summer Staycation. And it's a comedy inspired by two favorite films of mine, which are Amelie and The Royal Tenenbaums. I was always so inspired by the way that they focused on sort of girls that were a little weird and sort of outcasts in their society, but the filmmakers really loved them and showed us how special they were. So my film is really inspired by me growing up in Texas and being really innovative. Um, and, you know, in my summertime, loving the, the pool, the neighborhood pool, but always feeling uncomfortable in my skin there, whether it was comments being made about how dark my skin was or how I looked in a swimsuit. I imagine like, what could it be like to be a 10 year old who is fully in love and excited by her body and wants to have the best summer of all. Um, and so that's the inspiration for, for my short film. We haven't actually shot those films yet. So we go into production in about a month or so. And then we have you know, a whole team, a whole crew around us, a post team that we'll be editing on Avid. Um, and we're gonna shoot it in 8K. 8K but probably master in four, you know, but it gives us options in the edit, of course. Um, but I'm so excited. We're in the pre-production phase right now. I've been meeting with all the lovely mentors that McDonald's has set us up with. That's from showrunners, writers, directors, to people that are gonna be helping long-term in my career as I exit this prom program and really, you know, make the most of it in my career. So they really have set up mentorship for us throughout this program and also as I exit the program. Um, so it's been amazing so far, looking forward to shooting my film and also editing it and then putting it online. So in November, we're gonna premiere our films on spotlightdorado.com and people will be able to watch it online, then vote and then the vote, the, um, the winner will be announced in December. Well, Victor, I mean, this is one heck of an undertaking. $75,000 is a lot of money. I know you g gave out a few grants, um, but you guys are in the burgers, fries, and shake business. How do you convince the powers that be to say, this is a great investment? And uh, also, is there some mentoring that's going on with this as well, too? I mean, you guys have a pretty good... Uh, marketing network uh, at McDonald's. Yeah, so film was something new for us, but again, we um, want to give back to the Hispanic community. We saw an opportunity here, and I thought this was a perfect fit um, to do so. So, you know, with Spotlight Dorado, um, 
we're offering uh, the opportunity, like Marissa, to make their short film, give us a story from their perspective, representing the Hispanic community, and you know, provide that to the Hispanic community, and hopefully, you know, expand on this. This is our second year, and you know, the winner, uh, like Marissa mentioned, after the voting on Spotlight Dorado. Uh, the grand prize will that person will be able to work on the Spotlight Dorado campaign for a year. They're going to get a laptop, you know, one year industry standard creative software subscription services. But all finalists, um, all three of them, which are um, Marisa, Chris, and Pablo, they all get to enter, get the entry fees for up to six national film competitions in 2024. So we want to spread this. Um, in, in the United States and get the under, underrepresented Hispanic message out there. Marissa, I, I'd like you to talk a little bit about getting the phone call that you were a finalist and then actually the reality of like, oh my goodness, now I really have to get to work. Mm -hmm. Well, so you'll probably see this in the videos that they will launch in time um but it was a huge surprise to us so they created mcdonald's created an amazing live event for us where it was a surprise reveal um and they had set it up in a way that we really didn't know we were second guessing each other like ourselves the entire time so when there was a huge reveal it was the moment of like is it me there's no way it could be me. There's This is a joke. So I think it took us a moment to sort of be like, okay, we're the top three. We're, you know, the finalists right now. We get to make this amazing film, but it's like, okay, now it's the pressure of, you got to get it going. So as soon as that happened, to started making phone calls to producers, other partners that we're working with um, on the film to get the production going because we only have a few weeks to get this produced. So I have to say, so, I'm so, so, so excited to be one of the finalists. It's a dream come true. As a Latina filmmaker, it's not often that we are given money to make our own films, to make our dream films, to make a proof of concept that can further your career. So it's a dream come true for me. I still have to pinch myself every day to make sure that it's true, but it is an undertaking and I'm excited to be shooting my film in, um, in August. You get to work and get some mentorship from uh, Gloria Calderon Collette. I mean, I'm a big fan of her work. I mean, seriously, you got to be pinching yourself. Oh, absolutely. You know, earlier we were just speaking about it. Um, I was speaking to Gloria and it was the kind of thing of this, this is a dream come true because so many of the mentors that McDonald's has set us up with for the Spotlight Dorado contest are these shining stars in Hollywood. And it's the people that you watch on TV, you watch in films or that are creators behind the scenes that you just look up to. And for the longest time, I've been a fan of Gloria's and to be able to be introduced to her in this capacity and to receive notes from her and encouragement and her, her willingness to be a part of my career for the rest of it is something that is, is a, it's a once in a lifetime opportunity I'm so excited to be a part of it. I'm so excited to know all these mentors and to know that they're going to be a part of my career for the rest of my career. Well, again, Gloria is, may not be a household name, but she is very much an icon in our community. And uh, you guys are very lucky. Hey, uh, Victor, I want to finish it up. Give, give us some last words uh, here. Uh, take us through some milestones of when we can expect some of the rollout and uh, are we going to see some other owner operators involved in the project as well? Yeah, so Richard, thank you uh, for the opportunity. Um, I would say the public should watch and vote for their favorite um, short film on SpotlightDorado.com in November so that they could help us select the grand finalists and which we will announce in December. And just um, to let people know this is just one of many programs where we provide um, help and support in the Hispanic community. We got the McDonald's Asset National Scholarship Program where we give 30 outstanding Hispanic students over $500,000 a year. And today we've given over $33 million to 17,000 students in the life of the Asset National Scholarship Program. And we're involved in Ritmo en Color where uh, for the third year we 
have an annual music and art um, collaboration. This year we have Camilo, which is a Latin Grammy winner, uh, representing us, and we have six local Latino artists which are going to transform and wrap a whole McDonald's restaurant in six different cities in the country to their uh, style and, and creativity. So Spotlight Dorado is our latest and greatest um, gift um, to the Hispanic community. We hope that um, you enjoy all these short films and the work that Marisa will be doing. And we really look forward to seeing what, what they produce. So thank you for your time. Yeah, and, and finally, I, I just want to say, uh, as somebody that creates um, content and interviews people, I, I really appreciate and applaud McDonald's for stepping up and helping out our, our industry, our community, and letting people showcase their talents with everyone. So best of luck to you, Marissa. Victor, thank you and your colleagues at McDonald's for for all that you're doing. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you, Richard. Thank you. Hey, thank you, I'm Richard. expecting thank big you. things out of you, Marissa. I really am. I'm looking forward thank to you. it. Thank you. Thank you. Root for me. Vote for me. <laughs> <laughs> I heard you're at McDonald's. And, and, How and, and this is and this is real too. This is real. <laughs> If I could only get them to give me a Diet Coke, that would have been perfect so I can... <laughs>